it's it's in there. He's coming, he's coming, he ate it! <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty cool snap, eh? You know the fishing's bad when you turn around and the cameraman's hooked up, eh? Oh, he didn't like that. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods. Once again, the boys are in the shed as excited as little kids are at Christmas time, packing sojourn for yet another multi-day, multi-overnight camping and fishing mission. Today is the 15th of March and this fishing trip will be the very first fishing trip that we have gone on on board sojourn for 2022. Time flies when you're having fun and we are obviously having far too much fun for there to be near on three months of this year gone by and we have yet to go out on a mission on our own boat Sojin. But that is all good, it is about to happen. We have three days ahead of us, or three nights and four days ahead of us all going to plan, but our plans change as often as our lures, so don't hold me to that one. But yeah, the plan is to spend the next three nights on board Sojin camping and fishing in what we can only describe to be paradise. An insanely cool group of islands that are also completely sheltered from all of the outside elements. And given what happened on the last episode, you can now understand why we spend the bulk of our time in sheltered waters. We both get seasick. And if you're someone like us that gets seasick, it sucks. So going fishing in places like we're going right now is awesome. The weather for the next few days is definitely on our side. The ultimate goal, as always, in Milan's head is to land a big kingfish. And I reckon from mid-March till the end of May, sort of getting into June, is about the best time in New Zealand to be in shallow waters, sheltered waters, hunting big kingfish with big live baits. So that is exactly what Milan's gonna be doing. I don't even need to ask him that question. If Milan manages to land a big kingfish, then I have my fly rod on board. And I have had this new fly reel of mine now for far too long to say that I've never caught a fish on it. So that is my goal for this trip watch me land, film me land, catch a big kingfish and then I want to get my fly rod out and just catch something, anything, even if it's just a snapper to turn into dinner, I will be over the moon to achieve that. So yeah, that is us, three nights on the water, praying for big kingfish, Nato wants to catch a fish on his fly rod, bring it on, it should be a good one this one. And the anchor's on the bottom, Milan. Sound that doesn't lie. Shut them down. Blast to the incoming tide. All I'm doing is pumping out a burly trail. We've got the last of the incoming tide, so I'm just going to pump out a burly trail and just drop a couple of baits back and see if we can pick up a whopper. Nathan wants to film time lapses, so I've only got like half an hour of fishing. That's okay. <laughs> it's not that bad. That's all I need. <laughs> you got a couple of hours of fishing. Well, that was a good bite. <laughs> Now. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Oh, well, you've got two more. Oh, bait number two just got eaten. Looks pretty good. He's line leaving the reel. What's going to happen? 
Oh, he's let it go for a while. <laughs> Just a little one. Little one and your bait's gone. Oh, no. right, there it is. Toy! Tied on something big. Tied on something wop that lad looks like a shark. It's a massive snapper, bro. You reckon? It's never a shark. <laughs> it's never a shark. We've got Toby on board. <laughs> that looks big and solid. It's coming up, bro. Well, is it? it was. It's coming up too easy, I think. Coming up too easy. What does that mean? Give me some <laughs> some speculative. Well, I, um, hope I hope it's not a shark. I just hope it's a really big snapper. But there it is in the water. It I reckon it's a real big bronzy. Oh, big king. It is a kingy, eh? Yeah, it's a big kingy. Look at all the kingies behind. Oh, these are heap of kingies with it, Milan. Yeah. And here I am killing my baits before I stick them over. Look at the size. Of it. <laughs> is he going to give you a scrap or what? He's about to go. There he is! <laughs> Did you just winch it in? <laughs> ain't over yet! <laughs> yeah, it is 40 pounds, I suppose, eh? It's still green, though, eh? Milan's getting the hiding! <laughs> Fish landed! Milan's found his gloves. We can see the hook, but every time you put the hook in a kingie's mouth to get it out, they got all these in-facing file-like teeth that just rough you up big time, so the gloves seem to help out. You get it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> get him, Mr. Kingfish! Uh. How dare he do that to you? Oh, you got it? Not yeah. nice. And now I got my hand for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Because <laughs> normally you get roughed up, eh? Show me your big, big kingy melan. Yeah, that's right. Nice fish. I'm pretty happy with that. That is awesome. Three baits for a big snapper, and I caught a kingfish, and I'm guessing there'll be more down there. It has to be. Well, there were more with this one. I only got one more bait, though. He's awesome. All right, man. Gone. Gave me a bit of a slap in the face. Well, if that's the first fish, man. <laughs> what a way to start the trip. Down at East Cape, I would have given anything to catch that thing. <laughs> yeah, on the rock fishing. Yeah. Okay, let's chuck the last bait. Last, la last bait going out. Might have to put a sinking lure over. We weren't very organized and didn't bring any bait, so this is the last of the bait catching mission <laughs> for the afternoon. We only could get three baits. But it's been successful. Third and final bait is deployed. That could be a massive snapper, that one. Could be anything. What? Eaten already? Yep. I didn't even form anything. That's because I'm really good. <laughs> or it just could be a really good day to be fishing here. Fish? No fish? There's a fish on it. I wouldn't say it's fish. It's a little one. I don't want to pull the bait and wreck it. Is that a fish doing? Yeah, that's yeah, a fish doing yeah, that, right? Don't give him too long as you'll gut him. It'll be another kingy. No, it's different. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a snapper or a kingfish? This one feels different. It's going to be a kingy, isn't it? Surely. No, it's a snapper, this one. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, it should be a good one looking at that run. Should have been the day that we caught heaps of bait and came out. Because <laughs> that's the end of fishing. <laughs> we might have to chuck some lures over though. It isn't even a big snapper. I reckon if you put a soft bait out there you'd catch yeah. something. It's our dinner snapper, I think, this one. Is it? Here he comes. It's pretty instant. Yeah, I want to put a soft bait over. Well, you can if yeah. you want. Go Milan! Catches two fish in 10 minutes and one's dinner and one's, what do you call it? Really status. That's a good dinner fish too. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow night with some big baits. I'm gonna be collecting the car why tomorrow because I know this is gonna be the spot tomorrow night. <laughs> we came here last year and we, we caught the most insane monster snappers. And it's just March, just brings on the big fish and they seem to congregate in the middle. 
Thank you, mate. We appreciate what you've just done for us. There you go. Oh, oh. Milan put three baits in the water and caught two fish in like five minutes and I reckon it's my turn. Soft feet down the furley trail, cast number one. Australia owning a soft bait for a monster snapper <laughs> for anything right now I've happily hooked one of those kingies that you caught I got one good one I'll tell you in a second come up tight on them <laughs> <laughs> I be caught a, a fish stray lining a soft yeah. bait <laughs> oh. You know it's good when the cameraman's catching fish, eh? Well, when there's no bait to put over, and you're the soft baiter in the group. Do we want another one for dinner? Nah, we've got heaps for dinner. Yeah, we'll just let them go away. Joys of no hooks on... No hooks, no mate. Hooks. Joys, of no, Joys hooks. of no barbs on hooks. You can just let fish go real easy. Barbs on hooks are like, well, it was explained to me this way, that barbs on hooks are like training wheels on a bike. When you're learning to ride a bike, the training wheels are really good. But when you know how to ride a bike, the training wheels just get in the way, make things hard and beat fish up. Nathan just getting a nice evening time lapse. Stopped on a little rock, just parked up. Gonna make dinner here before we go into Anchorage. L-I-V-I-N This is absolutely glorious! You're the man, Marlon. Thank you, no, but I forgot my hairbrush. <laughs> Who gives a crap about your hairbrush? I'm having dinner on the rocks! Sun's going down, the boys have full bellies. And Milan's hooked up. <laughs> Milan's like, can we go yet? Can we go yet? No, no, let my time lapse run out. Let my time lapse run out. Oh, okay, I'll just have a quick fish and catch a snapper. We have landed. We have landed. <laughs> We're sunk on the ground with our anchor. Anchor's buried in. Milan's watching the lateral line. I haven't seen this one yet. Because <laughs> you're not the editor, I am. I done a really, really stupid thing and left the pump for my airbed in the shed. So that is home for the night. See you in the morning time. Good morning time. I might have left the pump at home for my airbed, but that did not matter because I had an awesome sleep. Milan's little cubby hole is as comfortable as it is colourful. 
The sun has made absolutely no sign of an appearance just yet. And there is already live baits in the live bait tank, so today is off to about as good of a start as you could possibly get. We have absolutely perfect tides at the moment. Milan was just looking at the wind forecast, which isn't quite what we would like, but that's all good. I'm pretty sure we can find somewhere in out of the wind, which is where we believe the big kingies to be hunting. And going on yesterday, a quick muck around in the afternoon with a burly bomb and literally three dead baits, we managed to catch more than we needed. So yeah, pretty soon the tent will come down, the sun will make its way up, and the boys will be on a big kingy hunt. But if I'm honest, I'm looking forward to this afternoon. We were pumping burly for five minutes yesterday and we caught some good fish. So if we go there again today, pump a big burly trail, Milan's already got a heap of baits in the live bait tank, Drifting big chunks of carway down a burly trail where we were yesterday has to produce something massive. But that's all good. There's plenty of the day between now and then. And I know Milan is going to be doing his best to sink a hook into a big kingfish. Here we go. Now it's not ideal this morning. We do like it flat, especially in the Coromandel. But we've got wicked current, we've got the sun coming up. I said to Nathan, let's just give it an hour and stop. Because normally the fish will be here and waiting. Nah, I think that was just an overexcited <laughs> live bait. It's a really good place for kingies to be sitting. And it's the perfect time of day. So bringing the snapper into the back of the boat brings the kingies up to have a look at what's going on because you've got all these fish on the surface and the kingies just can't resist but to have a look. We're fishing right close to the rocks, right on the weave edge. So everything you do is full lock and go. The sun is just about to break on through to the top side, yeah. Well, the weather forecast is bang on, if nothing else. There is enough wind to make finding a spot that is likely to be holding a monster kingfish just that little bit hard. The first spot was a flop, but some birds, namely little penguins, gave away the location of some big kahawai, so we managed to get some big live bait, so that is a good thing. So we are right now anchored up with said mighty kahawai out the back, hoping and praying that uh, <laughs> a kingfish will show itself and eat a bait, but it's all good. We're gonna hang out here for a couple of hours and then we are headed into the beach to have venison for lunch because Nato has been in the bush with his bow and arrow and he has been extremely successful. And lunch is gonna be really, really good. Looking forward to that. And then again, I reckon this afternoon with the forecast that we have, the baits that we have, the burly that we have, and the tides that we have, it's gonna be glorious. There's some little cohero fish in the burly trail. There was. There was, there is, you mean. And they are gonna be absolute gold if we can put a couple of them in the chili bin for tonight's big burly trail session. He's gonna eat it. Oh, he, oh. he ate it, didn't he? Oh, he did. And I pulled the hooks on it. <laughs> Fish all morning. Oh, uh. Just been one of those mornings, I think. Milan's admitting defeat. It's time for breakfast and lunch all at the same time.
Now you're talking my language. <laughs> you caught a kingfish, even better. <laughs> He's going to be a hundred pounds in a few years. He's going to dust me in the rich. <laughs> he does have a bone to pick with you, Milan. Probably a little of snapper I've caught today as well. I reckon Milan's just. Oh, oh there he goes. He's loose. What was that oh. noise? Brave not. Come out nicely, please. <laughs> That'll be the end of that little fishing mission. Well, I reckon we've had about as cruisy a day as you could possibly have. The fishing wasn't um, <laughs> what we so desire. This morning was, um, yeah, wind wrong, swell wrong, everything was wrong. We did our best, but no fish turned up. But the time spent relaxing out on the beach more than made up for it. I love come edit time having time lapses and I got buckets and buckets and bucket loads of them. They are just so useful when you are editing to paint a picture of what is going down and that was a whole tide went past. <laughs> We've been to a number of different spots and a number of different spots again just haven't had all the elements all in the same place all at the same time. But that is all good. All bets were on for this point in the day, right here and right now, doing what we are doing. We have the last of the incoming tide. We have a beautiful piece of structure. We have wind with the tide. And this is where we caught the fish yesterday. So why wouldn't it happen again today? So yeah, Milan's calling this one the last roll of the dice. And I reckon he's right. If this doesn't produce us a fish, we will be headed to our anchorage and anchoring up for the night. I'm hoping like crazy Milan finds something for dinner because all the venison got consumed at lunchtime. So yeah, this is it. Don't get scared now. Milan could very well set a hook in something massive. You know the fishing's bad when you turn around and the cameraman's hooked up, eh? <laughs> it, it's windy, it's choppy, it's not anything that we asked for. And Nathan thought, I'm going to chuck a soft bait in and see if I can catch dinner. And hooked a hog. And I think it's the monster snapper. Oh, I'd say it's a kingy going on the tail beat. Hey, 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 quit well, it, man. Takes a cameraman to catch a kingfish. Hey. Ah, oh, well. Fishing was slow, so I got to have a fish. Check out the rod. Can you get that thing in frame, man? Some days, <laughs> all I can say is a forecast <laughs> is only a forecast. Yeah. And today we have beaten the weather. The, we thought we had perfect conditions, and it hasn't been. But we've had fun. But Milan struggled. <laughs> He's a grumpy one. <laughs> It'll, only, it'll be a kingy like the size of the one you got last night, eh? But I'm just getting cloned. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, he didn't like that. Let me not put too much pressure on him. Oh. <laughs> dude, come on. Oh, There's only a little bit of rock down there. 
Come on, lift him, Nato. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm on like 30 pound gear here. Well, it would have been awesome if it was a massive snapper. But it's a beautiful kingfish. That's what I've been trying to catch all day. Oh, great tail grab. <laughs> there you go, Melan. That's, that's how you do a, it, eh? That's what a kingfish looks like. I've lost a couple of those today. <laughs> that should just fall out. <laughs> that is real good fun on a soft bait setup. <laughs> that would have been real good fun on my Saltiga. <laughs> I'll take it. Biggest can't be choosers, and today has been a tough day fishing wise. Well, lucky for this kingfish, we're not that hungry. <laughs> Milan does have some rice and something else for dinner, he reckons. And if we weren't going home until tomorrow, he'd be in the chili bin. But considering we're here for a bit longer and we can't eat that much, you did it. Lucky day. <laughs> you give up yet? I gave up. <laughs> Quick and easy, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Making me dinner. <laughs> it's all well, good, man. It was going to be more elaborate, but we just got late. Big day for the boys of catching not a lot of itch. Not a lot of itch. That could be my new <laughs> nickname of late. Milan catch not a lot of fish. I thought it was going to go, eh? First day. Wasn't that long ago we were joking about making a camping show. Now yep. we're probably joking about making a cooking show. Yeah. Somehow, I don't think that this trip is going to be remembered as a hardcore fishing trip, but it will definitely be remembered as a very relaxing couple of days spent out in the wide open spaces. And I think that we all need to do a little bit more of that. This artificial world, life and the madness that is planet Earth at the moment. I think we all need to get out into nature, reboot the body and reboot the mind and forget about all the carnage and just be, just live and bring on the simple things in life is what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, awesome sleep last night, an awesome day has emerged, both myself and Milan, <laughs> no one was um, fighting over one another to get out of bed this morning. We uh, didn't get out of bed till well after daylight and that is all good and both of us are looking at each other right now going what is it that we're going to go and do. So I reckon NATO's going to have a crack with a soft bait considering two casts or three casts with soft baits yesterday turned up a kingfish. 
we're gonna go and try and find some food and today will be the last day. Today we're gonna go and just, yeah, try and gain some food and then we will be headed home. The fishing doesn't feel as red hot as we hoped it to be and there is a full moon tonight and I would normally say fishing on to right on the full moon is good but yeah, the boys are fully recharged, ready to head home get packed up, organized, boat clean, everything done, and then we will be back into it again very, very soon. <laughs> I think we might have put the cameraman on the rod more often. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> ah, it's so good. Here you were talking, it wasn't a fishing trip and it was a relaxing trip. <laughs> the NATO goes and hooks one of the best snapper he's caught in a long time. Ah, oh, dude. Ripped off. <sighs> Gutted. The big snapper. Do you reckon I can do that again? I hope so. That was a solid fish, bro. <laughs> I was just already tasting him. <laughs> it was probably too big, you would have to let him go. Not at the stage of this game. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit took. Well, for near on three hours of soft baiting, I hooked three fish. The biggest one I lost within 30 seconds, pulled the hook. The second biggest one I got to the boat, pulled the hook. And the third one was the smallest one, and it was so small that Milan didn't even film it. <laughs> It is all good, as I keep saying. Right now there are three burly bombs in the water. It is the last of the burly. There is a rock behind us, and we're gonna pump that burly till it's all gone at that rock, hoping for a kingfish. There's a big live bait in the water. There's a little live bait in the water. And then after that, I think that'll be it. We did plan to come for three nights, and I very selfishly wanted to make two shows <laughs> out of this trip so that I could go hunting because the raw, the rut, the fall, whatever you want to call it, is very much here. Within the next week or so, I think the fellow bucks are going to be and there's going to be big red stags are roaring and it's going to be all on, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to keep fishing, aren't I? But that's all good. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line yet again. You guys are awesome and letting us do what we do. But right now, I also have Violet Organic Foods is another major contributor to us being able to do what we do. So Michael is now financially supporting the boys because the boys are very close to <laughs> having to get a real job, which is a problem, but life is what it is but anyway Michael right now is the reason the lateral line is in front of you so if you could please help us out and go and have a look at the Violet Organic Foods website if there's something there that you like and buy it you're a legend thank you so very much and yes Michael is working very hard on the lateral line website and when that's up and running you're about to go there and get merchandise and organic foods and all things extremely colourful that Milan <laughs> likes to wear. The number of people that have said, hey, where do you get those sunproof Milan tights from? Is um, blowing my mind. <laughs> I think they're a little bit wild, but there are people out there willing to wear them and they are good at stopping the sun. So they are practical as they are colourful. When that is up and running, you will be the first to know and anybody who goes there and buys something will be directly supporting the lateral line and keeping it alive. So we'll keep trucking along, doing our best to make fishing uh, look as fun as it is and get food and all everything else. So um, yeah, if nothing major happens, this is the end of this video. Cheer, cheer, my brothers and my sisters. See you all again very, very soon.
The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods. 